Welcome, my dear friends. I am so happy that you're here with us today. Kathy Burke, Reverend Kathy Burke is joining us. And we're talking about how to clear our ancestral lineage. I don't know about you, but in the last couple of weeks, I've been hearing more and more how people are challenged with their families. And um, I know I certainly have had a few interesting moments with my own family. So what do we do about that? What is our ancestral lineage and how can we use the energies that are available to us now to help release the past, to help release past pain, to help stop our old patterns? So Kathy Burke, I want you to come in and talk to us. Kathy created this amazing class. And um, so Kathy, you wanted to start by telling us about the astrological forces that are affecting us all right now. Yes. Um, hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me and joining us. Um, I just before I start that, I just want to say a little bit about the lineage class. Um, about two to two and a half years ago, I uh, kind of just woke up one day and decided, you know, the angelic realms always guide me, spirit always guides me that I was going to um, listen to them and create a class where we could, you know, heal and clear lineage. Now, uh, prior to that, just so you know, I've taken some shamanic trainings um, and one of the shamanic trainings was a lineage clearing. And my good friend, Jean, uh, who's a shaman, she held it at my center and it was just, it was beautiful. And, and, and we cleared a lot that way. But something told me to take it even further. So I started to use some of the information I was receiving, some information I already had. I listened. I, I, um, I put it all together. I started doing it with one-on-one uh, -on -one with people. Uh, I did a couple of groups at the center, and I had a lot of luck with that. And I could see myself as I did it. It was lightening me up more and more. And then Kimberly, uh, Kimberly, we did it. Oh gosh, was it a year ago? Uh, no, no we, we just did it in February. Can you believe that that's all it's been? We did it. Wow, we did it in February. So February, gosh. it was February. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So it was a while back, nine months, ten months ago. Um, and you know, I know Kimberly and her sister really enjoyed it, and they did a lot with it. A lot of people did. And so um, I felt, you know, Kimberly always tunes into me just at the right time. Like she knows, she tunes in and. And, uh, and it was time to kind of bring it back out. So when I agreed to bring it back out and you know uh, do it like that, like the, the way we're gonna do it, I looked up some uh, astrology information. Now I'm not an astrologer. However, I've taken classes in astrology. I understand astrology. Uh, Denise Barry's here. Is she here? She is. She's one of my astrology friends that I was telling you about. Hi, Denise. Wow. And Denise, Denise is, uh, if I may say this, Denise's daughter, I just did the lineage clearing and healing with her. Uh, Denise, Denise suggested I do it and she, she was on board with it. So cool. This is my astrology friend, Denise. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what um, my friend Regina Hamilton talked about recently in the full moon report. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about, too, what I know is coming in astrologically from, gosh, Denise and Jill and my friends. And I put a little bit of my own uh, insight into it as well. So I want to talk about that first, because I feel like it so blends in right now with the lineage healing. You know, again, Kimberly tunes into me just at the right time. I look, I start to see what's going on astrologically from my friends. And I think, wow, is this not like an incredible time to do this? And so here we are. <laughs> um, so I'm going to I'm going to read a little bit about what uh, my friend Regina talked about, um, and some things I've also looked up in the uh, realm of numerology. So there's astrology, there's numerology, numerology. They all go together. They all blend beautifully together. They support us in understanding what we are experiencing in life right now yes. and how we can use that. Yes, definitely. And so we all know that this year, especially 2020, has been a year of supreme transformation on all levels, on all levels. Uh, 
as of today, right now, you know, the election is going on and, and it's ex what I call extreme transformation. You know, we're always transforming in some way. We get up every morning, our cells transform, you know, we, we shed skin, all sorts of stuff happens, we transform. But the kind of transformation that's going on now is supreme. It just, uh, it, it's an amazing um, purge of, of sorts in many ways, the, the virus and, and everything. If you think about it, it can make your head spin. And, you know, there were, there were planetary aspects uh, that were contributing to this. In other words, kind of feeding it. And, you know, again, I'm not an astrologer. I'm going to talk a little bit about what I know from, from these beautiful people that I know that do astrology. Um, so let me share this. So Regina says it's Scorpio season, a time of transition and transformation, which represents a time for us to release what limits and no longer serves us. So this is a beautiful time right now. Scorpio is transformation. Uh, that's your, your uh, sign, uh, Kimberly. It so is. Your birthday's yeah. coming right up. <laughs> yep, yep, that's your sign. Scorpio runs very deep. Scorpio is extremely intense. It has a lot of uh, transformational birth and death energy. So um, you know, transformation is, is your middle name. Uh, I feel like it's my middle name too. Um, so the veil between the worlds right now, it, it always happens around Halloween too, is, is rather thin. So this gives us the opportunity to tune into our loved ones in spirit, our lineage, um, those that have gone before us, those that, um, you know, we can go seven layers deep or more. Many of them we don't know personally right now but they're all connected to us. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that in a moment. But this is a mystical time to pay attention uh, to supple signs that are coming. So if you feel drawn to this class, if you feel you know this is something um, you need to do, do it, just do it, don't hold back because it'll help you to move forward in many ways. Um, so, Spirit is present and is here for us. And of course, again, this includes our loved ones. Uh, reminding us that just because you can't see something, it doesn't mean it's not there, okay? Many of us have felt our loved ones in spirit. I do mediumship. I connect people all the time with loved ones in spirit. And, you know, we feel them. They're there. They give us the signs. But, you know, we're going to work directly with our lineage. And again, going back many layers as far as you have to go. So this workshop, the lineage workshop is in perfect synchronicity with the energies of where we are now. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more. Kimberly, did you want to say anything? No, you're doing fine. Keep going. Okay. Just let me know. Okay. Okay. The full moon of this past week uh, highlighted the polarity between the moon and earthly Taurus, grounded Taurus, opposing the sun in transformative deep water Scorpio. The moon is usually very comfortable in Taurus, but there's a wild card in the mix this year. The rebel planet Uranus is sitting with the moon in the sky. Uranus is the shake up, wake up planet of change that can bring shocking situations and events that rock the world. So let's see what happens, quote unquote, in our election today. He's the God of the sky who harnesses lightning bolts to his advantage. He is also called the Great Awakener. Lightning bolts, uh, wake up calls, possibilities, uh, breaking up stuck energy. He wakes us up. And this is a perfect time for that going, you know, going the Scorpio energy, the Uranus energy, going deep, waking it all up, bringing it to the surface, looking at it, cleansing it, clearing it, healing it. Okay. So this is extremely. Um, powerful time to do this. So from now till uh, the end of the year, we still have, you know, a kind of a great opportunity to purge. All right. Uh, purging on, in many, many different ways. The planet Uranus is also preparing us for bigger changes as we move towards 2021. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about, um, before I move on with this too, Every year we go into a new cycle, uh, 
on our birthday, a numerology cycle, but we also go into a, a new cycle every year uh, universally. So this year we've been in a four cycle. So four is hard work equals reward. And there's more of the four directions, there's more to it than that. But what I'm saying is that there was a lot of opportunities for hard work this year in many different ways. Um, and so whatever you've put your time and effort into will pay off. Uh, there will be rewards. Now on January 1st, 2021, we will go into a five cycle. And I'm very excited about this because five is freedom, freedom. So it's freedom, it's freedom to be lighter. It's freedom to play. It's freedom to, um, you know, expand your horizons. It's freedom to heal. So if we're doing the work now, this year, and again, lineage class right in there, working those 30 days with the lineage class, really getting in there and digging up and cleaning out. Then when that five cycle comes in, think about it as this huge, huge breath of fresh air. Okay, this beautiful breath of fresh air. Um, so again, we're going from a very a heavy, heavy cycle in 2020 to a light cycle in 2021. Um, okay, so we, we are still feeling though a little holding pattern from the Mercury retrograde, but Mercury was gonna go direct today. So Mercury retrograde is when, you know, uh, about three weeks, week before, week after or so, Mercury kind of, you know, slows its energy down on the earth, on the pull of the earth. And so things like communication, energy levels, um, mostly communications kind of get stalled. Uh, there's, there's, there's that, you know, miscommunication going on with different things. Um, but as it goes direct today, it'll start to build energy back up. And within a couple of weeks, I'd say mid November, you're gonna feel, oh, like things are starting to move along again. So again, with the Mercury retrograde journey, um, this again is a beautiful time. We still have time to go within because Mercury retrograde is going within, pulling it up, looking at it, reevaluating it, anything with re in front of it, reevaluating it, and then moving forward with it. So this is really powerful time um, to do that. Okay, we may be rethinking our plan and reevaluating our responsibilities. And this brings us back to how we can let go and help ourselves and our lineage to heal. The planet Mars is also finalizing a retrograde. Again, now Mars is uh, the planet of fire and war and energy. And, you know, Mars is very powerful. Um, it's going to station direct, as my friend says, uh, Regina, on November 13th. We will definitely feel the shift when he changes direction. Mars is at home in Aries, and he's been very frustrated with the restrictions of the backward motion. Mars, the planet of action, will energetically support all that you put your intention to at this time. So put your intention on, I'm going to heal myself. I'm going to heal my lineage. It's a win-win situation. Wow, all that energy that's lifted off of you all that energy that's lifted off of your, your loved ones and spirit and beyond. And, and you, know, you know, in Kimberly's class, I talked a lot about how when you do the lineage healing, it, it not only affects you and your lineage, but your children, your children's children, uh, the people in your lives, it, it affects them too. So, you know, they call it the sins of the father. So, Sins of the father, meaning things that went on before, you know, Grampy did this and man, it wasn't too good and he didn't complete it. And so somehow my soul might have said, well, I'll take some of that on and I'm going to complete it for Grampy. And, you know, so and it, and it goes like that to our children, too. So as we clear and heal ourselves, our lineage and our children and our children's children. So it, it's fabulous. It's like saying you're healing the past, the present and the future. Beautiful. Can't, I can't say we, it any better than that. We experienced that, Kathy, in that February class. It was so yeah. powerful. 
we experience the healing for ourselves, for our children, for our grandchildren, for our parents, our grand, our grandparents, our, yeah. you know, grandchildren, our grandparents, our great grandparents. We experienced the healing for our mates and their families. It was amazing. Yeah, it's very powerful. Now listen, there's some work to it. It's not one of those snap your fingers and, and it's done. Uh, there's some powerful, powerful daily practice. Uh, practices that go with it they're not extremely time consuming you know uh, perhaps 15 20 minutes a day but if you do these practices that you know the prayers and invocations and some of the tapping and the things that I, I present in a very easy way it's you you don't have to be a rocket scientist to, to do it it's easy but it's powerful and so you know if you do it you get the rewards from it yes Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Kimberly knows what I'm talking about. Okay, so we talk a little bit more about the planet and then um, I'm going to talk about the class. So, let's see, where was I? Okay, so Uranus is the planetary ruler of Aquarius, the humanitarian sign of brotherhood, sisterhood, science, technology, and global thought and communication, which is bringing forth new ideas. So this is some, I think this is great news. In December, as Saturn, the planet Saturn of lessons and Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion, move into the sign of Aquarius, we'll begin to set up um, for all new generational, a whole new generational cycle. When Saturn and Jupiter move into Aquarius, a huge shift will take place and a lighter, more expansive energy will be given to us to utilize. Now. I'm a Capricorn, so I know all about Saturn. Saturn's been playing with me since the day I was born. Um, Saturn is the planet of lessons. Saturn is the father, the, the, the kind of taskmaster, the, the tough love father, and, and, and teaches us lessons. You know, we go through Saturn returns and different things in our lives when there's huge upheaval and change, and it strengthens us, okay? So we've had Saturn, uh, Capricorn, and it's the sign of its own sign, Saturn in its own sign of Capricorn, I guess that's the way I would put it, um, this whole past year. And I believe from what Denise has told me and others before that too, it was, you know, it's been in that sign. Actually, Pluto uh, too has been uh, working with that energy, which is, is really Scorpio's planet, deep, intense, past energy, bringing it up, digging it up teaching us the lesson it doesn't feel so good it's hard it's heavy and we have to work through it we have to purge through it okay but now okay aquarian energy isn't like that you remember the song the age of aquarius harmony peace understanding love all of that joy so we're coming into the age the true age i'm gonna cry the true age of aquarius we're finally, you know, we've been talking about it for years. Oh, we're, we're in the age of Aquarius. We're moving in the age. Of, but when this happens, to me, this is really in the age of Aquarius. So we've had it tough. The world has had it tough. And, and it's, still, it's still happening. And, but you know, there's a light at the end of this tunnel. And if you do the lineage clearing and healing, along with these beautiful new energies that are coming in, when they come in, you will have the opportunity to truly utilize these new energies. You won't be sitting in the mud anymore. You'll be out of the mud. You'll be lighter. You'll be ready. You'll be, you'll be at the, the beginning of the, 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 the starting, you know, like, like a horse at the gate, ready to take off, okay? So it's the perfect time to do this. I mean, when I looked up what's happening, you know, Kimberly tuned in. She contacted me. Let's do this. I look it up. Perfect time. So if you're going to do it, this is the time to do it. Um, let's see. So I talked about numerology. Uh, the world is changing. And, you know, we can see it every single day. Um, we, we need to hold the intention now. And it's, it's not the easiest thing to do because of all the things we see in here. But if we want peace and love, we have to hold the intention for that. And I feel the Lineage Healing Workshop will propel you all forward in a very magical and healing way. It's gonna set that stage for a greater and 
more profound life in 2021 and beyond, not just for you, people before you, people in the now and those to come. So I don't know what to say more about it than that. So astrologically, we're in a, I feel, we're in a perfect time uh, to do this. That doesn't mean if you did it, you know, uh, last, last year when we did it or February, that it wasn't a great time. It's all, they're all perfect timing, okay? But this, this gives us the opportunity to truly move forward into uh, a new energy. February was a great time for me because my mom had just died. My family was changing a lot and uh, my sister and I did it together. It was, it was so powerful. Um, but now is an even is a good time too. So if you did the class with us in February, you can still just go back in, reaccess, watch the class again, start your 30 days over. So let's talk, Kathy, about what you get because that's, that's really important. Yeah, so... Um... You know, with this class, it's an adventure, it's a journey, it's going to help you release from this life and past lives. Now, there, there, hmm, there's the other component of it, okay? The past life component. Because past lives, we carry them into this lifetime. And if we're not, you know, we haven't worked through them, we're still carrying the old energy from that. So, along with this release from your lineage, you're also releasing past life stuff. Um, so it's kind of a twofold win-win situation. Um, so this is a perfect way to accomplish this task at this time. It is time now on the earth to release karma like never before, karma and contracts. Now what are karma and contracts? Okay, so we, we understand what family karma is. Family karma is our ancestral bloodline, uh, things that, again, they call it the sins of the father, things that we brought in to heal for others, for our loved ones. They brought things in to heal for their loved ones. It's kind of the way it works. We're all like this big soul family that comes back in different capacities and works through things over and over and over again until we get it right. Okay. So I'm going to teach you how to energetically release yourself and your karma and your lineage within 30 days, if you do it every day for 30 days, and if you don't, that's okay. I don't come over and, you know, tap your hand or anything. So you it's just you spread know. out your time farther. So if it takes you two months yeah. instead of a month, you just do 30 days, however long that takes you. Yeah, you do 30 days. And if it takes you six months to do 30 days, it's okay. You can, but you know, it, it takes a good 30 day chunk um, to really get it going. Um, and if you start doing it and you, you hit a little bump in the road and you say, oh, I got I to gotta calm down today a little bit because of what's coming up for me. I got to look at it, take a day or two off and then, you know, proceed. But with some of the um, I'm a big, big uh, advocate of, of tapping uh, emotional freedom technique. I've been teaching it for many, many, many years. And uh, we use a spiritual root cause technique, um, something that I embellished uh, from EFT. Uh, embellish and, and use and, and it's an amazing tool so once you use it the beauty of it is you can use it for other things too it's not just okay so I learned this technique and it's just for my lineage no you get to use it on all sorts of things it's an amazing amazing tool um so Kathy, anyway you can uh, Kathy okay. I, I want to jump here and talk about um and uh, be more specific about what you're talking about so within the class, there are a couple of hours of videos that you'll watch that explain what each of the parts is. We recorded these in that February class, so it's really easy for you to just go in on demand and watch them at any time. We've split them up into little short segments. So if you have five minutes here, five minutes there, you can watch it that way. Or maybe you have a whole day, you want to watch the whole, all, you know, all of the videos and they that really it's telling you how to do this daily protocol that Kathy has been talking about. So there's one for the morning and there's one for the evening. So I want to share with you what those are specifically so you can see what you're getting into. So this material was so important to me that that I really personalized the stuff. So this is what I did with it. My mom had just died. I was freaking out that the, the um, pandemic was just starting. 
my dad was at risk. It was a really difficult time for me. So I spent a lot of time with these materials because I needed it personally for myself. So as an example, I took greeting cards from people I loved and I wrote, I glued them up onto these tags and wrote, wrote some of the prayers on the back and put ribbons so that every time I said these prayers, I was feeling the love of the people who gave me those cards, two very important people in my life. Wow. And, and then like the prayers and the tapping, I really personalized it. So as an example, with the tapping, I just want to show you how powerful this is. So uh, let's see if I can remember one in particular. Okay, so there's an inner eyebrow. So what this means is you tap here and you, you say, I'm eliminating all the sadness in the deepest root cause of this generational karma and responsibility and burden. And you keep going on for that. And when my sister were doing this on the phone together every day, we would see visions, our mystical visions opened up and the sadness would come forward. So we'd be seeing experiences that we had in our childhood. We'd be seeing our parents and our grandparents and our children and the sadness that was burdening them. And over time, we quit having those visions. It just all kind of cleared out. So, um, you know, there's fear, weakness and doubt, anger, rage and unforgiveness, emotional trauma and hurt. You know, my parents had, my dad in particular, had a lot of emotional trauma and hurt. And I would, I would see and, and feel in my being things that happened to him from his, his youth, from his childhood, from his adulthood that were traumatic. And I would see it lifted off of him. And then the next time I'd see him, he'd look lighter and happier and he'd be smiling. And at the end of the class, when I went to see him, he had this look that I've never seen on his face of an innocence a beauty and an innocence and a peace. So I know that through this, this devotional service that my sister and I did through the tapping, we released a huge burden for my dad. And also for my mom, when we first started doing this in my inner vision, I'd see my mom um, kind of in, in, in pain like she was when she died. But as the weeks went by, I would see her getting younger and younger and happier and more vibrant and more vital. So that now when I see my mom in my inner vision, she's, she's young, she's about 35, she's radiant, she's happy, she's peaceful. So wow. these prayers really work. And it's been the same for, um, you know, my husband, my sister's husband. He was having difficulty at work. And so he started asking, can you do the prayers with me? <laughs> can I join you for the prayers? And he had some amazing miracles at work like this. Uh, there's a his boss was torturing him, you know, was being really mean. And one day she out of the blue called him in and said, you know, you're one of the best engineers we have. I just want to let you know that. So, so you know, we're, we're the best. You're the best engineer we have. And it's like that was a miracle. <laughs> so I have witnessed many, many miracles from this material. And so um, there are prayers, there's the tapping, there are prayers of abundance, prayers of opening. And the other thing that I did was I felt it was important to write about what I was experiencing to journal. And again, my mom had just died. I was really uh, in a, I was suffering. And so I actually made this journal as we were going through the class. Um, I made the little book and I did all the pages and, and so I started to bring in some of the pictures of my parents, like these are my parents' wedding pictures. And, uh, you know, pictures from my life, pictures from my family life, um, paintings. My, my mother was a Chinese brush artist. I put some of my mom's paintings in here. And wow. so through, through working on this journal, you know, sharing, writing about what was happening in my life, you know, trust. <laughs> um, I, uh, it really helped me to let go. So there was an evening reflection, um, uh, wrote about the evening reflection, wrote, you know, I see things about my dad. Uh, this was one of my weddings. <laughs> this was me as a little kid. And this was uh, my grandma that I loved so much. So through this, I was able to go through my, my um, photos that, you know, were just stuck away in a box and put them into this journal in a way where I could feel the support, the love and the connection. And I think the most important thing, oh, here's, here's my mom and me. This was right before my sister's oh. wedding, 28 years ago to 30 years ago. Oh. Um, but through, through this, I was able to, for the first time, 
really feel how much love and support was coming from my grandparents on both sides and my parents and um, my, uh, oh, a lot came up from our, our aunts and uncles and cousins. We don't know them very well, but we were feeling a lot of their pain too. So it was an extraordinary journey of healing over that 30 days. And we've repeated it twice since because it was so powerful. Excellent. Yeah. yeah, and you know, thank you for sharing all that. Wow, you really took it to a whole new level. <laughs> it was great. well, that's how important it was to me. And, yeah. and well, what a huge transformation it made in my life. It, it is really important because you know, if you're carrying a big bag of energy on your shoulder, you can't see it, but you know, you're carrying it or you feel like they're in the mud all the time. You know, this this has a lot to do with, you know, uh the past. Uh, past lives, uh, childhood, uh, karma, uh, contracts with other people. So when you work through that kind of stuff, you just become lighter and lighter. Now for me, uh, I started losing weight and I lost, let's see, since February, about 22 pounds. Um, now I do Qigong and I do all sorts of other things too. And I was, you know, eating healthy, but it seemed like emotionally, I had been holding on to a lot of weight that got released. Uh, many times I've been on diets and stuff and never lost an ounce. So I really believe all the tapping and the, uh, the things that, you know, uh, I was doing with the lineage class, cause I was doing it with you, um, helped me to release energy, which helped me to release weight. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. So let me talk a little, just a little bit more, uh, Kimberly, um, about, the, the workshop that, you know, if, if you decide to take it, the people listening. So these are some of the things that you're going to be, um, the, the bennies, the benefits. You're going to begin to discover how you can release past patterns that may be holding you back from being happy, healthy, and abundant in your life. You're going to learn powerful and life-enhancing tools that will clear your karma with your lineage from this life and past lives. You're going to begin the healing process that becomes a win-win situation as you heal yourself. Um, you gift your lineage the gift of healing too. We talked about that, past, present, and future generations. You're going to clear energies that will help you now in your life and your current family situation. Uh, Kimberly talked about her brother-in-law who did some of the prayers and uh, ended up um, probably healing, you know, with this boss of his. And she actually came to him and, and gave him that compliment, which she wouldn't have done in the past. So something healed. Uh, so these prayers and these invocations can be used for many different things as well. They're interchangeable. Um, let's see, you're gonna become more of who you truly are. Uh, the authentic self is gonna to come to the surface more. Your, your gifts, your talents, uh, motivation, uh, movement, all comes from this as layers of old stagnant energies are lifted and clarity, greater clarity becomes the outcome. And you're going to have so many beautiful tools to continue to expand this special healing and share it with your family and friends. So uh, there's so much to it. Uh, there's more than that. Um, I guess my best thing that I could say to you would be if you feel Anything that I've talked about or Kimberly's talked about has touched you in any way or made you feel hopeful or, you know, kind of if, if it drew you in, then then you probably should be doing this. Uh, I don't like to use the word should, but it would it would benefit you, behoove you uh, to take that 30 days and, or more if you need it. And uh, you're worth it to, to go for it and to really start 2021. Uh, in a new way. I know I'm ready to start 2021 in a new way. Um, and I think the lineage healing helped me a lot through this year. And that probably helped Kimberly too and anybody else who stuck with it and did it. Um, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We had so much heavy stuff in our family this year, you know, settling yeah. out after my mom died and, you know, getting my dad situated and uh, we eventually had to move him in with my sister and then we needed to sell his house. And, um, you know, we had to get all of us siblings uh, in agreement and working together 
And so it took a lot of prayer to get alignment between all of us siblings and to hold the energy on a positive note and, you know, not fall into bickering and, and uh, criticizing each other. It was, oh, yeah, definitely. Um, so these prayers were just amazing at helping that come to pass.